Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in Facebook, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm here with my family, my son Kai, my prince Kivari. So we've got the K's. K for kindness. What the world today needs is kindness. So today we wanted to go live and we wanted to send a prayer to all the animal lovers, to the animals. We want to gather in holy space, sacred space. And it says here, together to send healing to the animals of the world, the plants, the land, and the people of the world, giving thanks for life and protection and healing. So how have you all been with all this news about um, the, what should I say? The corona. The coronavirus. How have you all been? Are you stuck at home? Or are you gathering? We hear that London will be in lockdown tomorrow. So together we are here creating this sacred space for all of you. As we create some healing for all of you, whatever you're going through. Now, my grandson, Charlie, and he's my grandson. He's actually an animal. He's a dog. Can you say a little bit about Charlie? Charlie is a 13-year-old Vimarana, and he's my beloved son. Yes, he is. He's been with me since he was a puppy, and Tokes has been his grandmother. Yes, I have a grandson. And he has been very close to death many times, and through profound prayer and deep love he's made it through every single time and now he's 13 and he's back in the vet this morning we took him in at five o'clock this morning uh, with emergency and he has very high fever but he's in the vet now and we believe that we'll be able to have him back with us this evening through the power of prayer and family get together and what's interesting is Charlie is on a drip now. I'm busy here in my flat relaxing and then I hear Charlie shouting at me, Mom, Mom, get me out of here. And he starts getting aggressive and angry. And I'm thinking, Charlie. And then I hear him on a drip. And then he says, there are many animals that need healing. There are many animals that are crying. Crying because of what's happening on Mother Earth. And some of the animals are cleansing their owners. They're healing their owners. And some of the animals are ill and some of them aren't. And the land is ill. And Charlie's going on and on and telling me all about this. And then when Kai came into the flat and he was washing his hands, he said, what do you say? You can feel. What do you say? Um, well, I can feel... I don't remember what I said. The animals. Oh, yeah. Well, the animals... Uh, there were many animals in the vet when I brought him in and they were in a lot of pain and uh, you said that you thought Charlie was then telling them all, don't worry, there's powerful people praying for us and uh, because of me and I'm going to help you all. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> he sounds human, doesn't he? doesn't he? So what are you going through at the moment? What are you wanting the most in your life? So I have here a beautiful heart. I don't know if you can see it. So in this heart, I'm going to put it down, we're going to activate your heart, activate your divine heart, your spiritual heart, your sacred heart, your emotional heart, and your mental heart. We'll be sending healing to your heart. We'll be sending uh, anointments to you as appropriate. Dear God, Buddha, Allah, Great Spirit, come into the sacred space here as we invite you dear divine the Tao, the source we ask for healing for everyone that is watching we ooze with love and light we send healing to all the people of the world whatever they may have as appropriate we work directly with the divine going directly to you breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out so we're starting the vibration of calling in the divine god buddha allah great spirit whatever that may be to you we're connecting to the soul of the animals the soul of the planets the soul of every single person here the soul of mother earth we're saying we greet you we love you if there's anything we've done to you that has caused you pain we are sorry. We deeply apologize and we ask for your forgiveness. Don't we? Yes. Mm. We ask for truly, truly for forgiveness. We know forgiveness is not enough. We have to serve. And so today we are serving humanity. 
We are serving you. We ask, we are sorry for anything we have done to you or any of your ancestors. We ask for forgiveness. We are sorry. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. We forgive you. Please forgive us. So you're asking for forgiveness because sometimes we don't know why we are ill or something is happening. There may be ancestors that are angry with us. They're, they're, they're standing like this. They're not ready to let go the anger. So if there's any ancestor, any person living or gone that is holding a grudge against us, we call, in and we call you in. We bless you. We release you. We serve you. We ask, please forgive us. Please forgive us. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. So if anything that you have done to your ancestors or to anyone in this lifetime or previous lifetime, I want you to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry. And if there's anything that they have done to you or your ancestors that has hurt you, that has betrayed you or anything they have done, you forgive them, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. You see, in the forgiveness practice, it's so important to do a forgiveness practice. I forgive you. Because we don't always know why something is happening, do we? We don't know. We're trying to get the partner. We don't get the partner. We're trying to move the business. We don't move the business. We're trying so many things. We want to have a harmonious relationship with our children, with our relationships, and yet there's a block. And then we have the coronavirus. What is happening with that? That's a global, global issue. We are transforming and cleansing our karma. We are asking for forgiveness of Mother Earth, of the planets, of the stars and the seas and, and the human beings and the animals. Imagine all that cruelty to animals, all that cruelty to Mother Earth. So it's very important. And breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. How are you feeling? So we're bringing love, love, joy. We're activating healing. We're sending healing to you. So if you had to send healing to someone, where, who would you send healing to? Write their names down. If you had to send healing to a condition in yourself, write that. Ah, the first card that comes out is the miracle of forgiveness. Isn't that just amazing? We call Angel Jeremiah for the miracle of forgiveness. And that's the first thing we did. The miracle of forgiveness. The miracle of forgiveness. We couldn't have planned this better. Are you ready to choose a card? Mm. Yeah, so we're thank going to choose a card. So for me, the miracle of forgiveness, it says here, thank you, Angel uh, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Forgiveness is not easy. The process of forgiveness is not easy. But the angel will help you understand the miracle of forgiveness. Using forgiveness to heal yourself, to love yourself. Okay? So breathe in and breathe out. Mm. Breathe in and breathe out. Mm. So when you're ready, who wants to go first? I can. Yes. You are protected. Wow! Archangel Michael, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So, what does that mean for you? Hold it to the people. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, yeah. yeah, it just gives me a great feeling, a softness to my heart, uh, a letting go of any hardness that's been developed over the past week or two. Um, in trying to control the events around me, I can just let go yeah. and know that divine, the universe. Yeah, it's protecting me always and wants the best for me. Yeah. Um, and I have this protection, which is beautiful. Thank you. So isn't that amazing? Because we said we're calling in protection. Mm. Yeah. And we started with a forgiveness practice. And the first card I picked was forgiveness. And then yours was you are protected. Mm. Because these are vulnerable times. People don't feel protected. People feel frightened and mm. lonely. Yeah, it's also like a symbol of like, I am protected, we I are am. protected, I therefore am. in our protection and yes. as well. So, so yeah. let's say together, 
I am protected. Come on. I, I am, am protected. protected. You are protected. You are protected. I am protected. I am protected. You are protected. You are protected. I am protected. I am protected. You are protected. You are protected. I am protected. I am protected. You are protected. You are protected. And just breathe in protection. Really feel the energy of protection. Just breathe that in. And really feel it. Feel yourself being protected and held in sacred space by the divine. Mm. And breathe in and breathe out. Mm. And breathe in and breathe out. Mm. And breathe in and breathe out. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The miracle of nature. Wow. Mm. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. So again, the element of air, and we're breathing, and corona is affecting the lungs. Yeah. We're breathing air into the lungs. So we want purification of your, of your air, purification of your lungs. You see, and this is so important. And, and, and people need to breathe to live. Without your lungs, you can't live. We call in protection and healing on all levels as appropriate for you, for your lungs right now. Do you want to talk a bit about that again? Well, you also set the intention that this is a prayer for animals, for the plants, for the land yes. and the people. Yes. And that is nature. Yes. So we've called in forgiveness and protection as a route to honor the miracle of nature. Yes. And really the miracle of nature is also the way I think we are finding of being positive mm. about the events that are unfolding around us. We were talking on the way here, we went by a supermarket where there is panic buying and there were great shelves full of, uh, with nothing on them. Mm. Uh, people really in anxiety, mm. but we were able to see how the flip side of that is the coming together in community to become caring, to be socially aware, to be conscious of us being in community and the need to look out for each other and after each other. Mm. So the miracle of nature is nature has produced this virus in a way that is going to change fundamentally the way we interact. Fundamentally allow us to be more caring, more kind, more interactive ultimately, to open our hearts. Our hearts feel more open than they felt for a long time feeling people's pain, feeling their suffering, and feeling how we can find new ways of being there for each other. This is another aspect of the miracle of nature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, there was finding a, new yeah. ways of being. Go on, my love. Um, yeah, finding new ways of being. And um, the miracle of nature as well, because it's the one place we can still join as a community. It's like her Hampstead Heath in London. Yeah. Um, and just nature like parks is where people are coming together a safe distance away from each other, but there's fresh air there, it feels fresh and healthy and mm. it's really important during this time to not like go inwards and like, you know, we're talking about isolation, but it doesn't have to be isolation in your home, it can be isolation out in the world, in nature, which is... Yeah, that's it's a brilliant. nature and fresh air. Yes. Yeah. It's a great reminder. So what's so amazing is, it's very important that when you're working energetically, we, we just gathered together, three of us, Father, Son and Holy Ghost, the Trinity, Isis, Osiris, and Horus. Who can think of another three? Three. Three? The weavers. Past, the... present, future? Yeah. The spinners. The spinners. Mm. Mm. Grace. You two forgot the other one. Not to worry. <laughs> so the vision of three. You have mother, father, child. Father, son, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Isis, Osiris, and Horus. Past, present, and future. Life, death, and rebirth. So the Trinity vibration, so the coronavirus and all this uh, is not only, we have people who, are, who have cancer, who have heart conditions. So there are many other types of uh, diseases, uh, viruses, bacterial infection, and we're working and sending healing as appropriate to all those who need it as appropriate. And if they want, we cannot force people. And I, I, it's just so amazing. Can we hold up all our cards that we picked? So just hold them on your chest. Forgiveness, 
Yes. What was yours? Uh, mine is, you are protected, oh. Archangel Michael. So that's protection and? The miracle of nature. The miracle of nature. So exactly what we need now, we have actually chosen the card, and I talked earlier on about the heart, anchoring the heart. So I'm going to ask uh, Kai and Kivari and myself to do a chant, a soul chant, or a sacred chant for about a minute. So are you ready? I want you to sit comfortably wherever you are and anchor and open your soul, open your heart and begin to sing your soul language wherever you may be. So I want to acknowledge everyone that's here, all of you that are giving us hearts and likes and thank you. Thank you. So I've got here Ashtorasa Kazue. Hello. I believe you're in Japan. Thank you. Gina Nasi. Thank you. Hannah Imogen Jones. I believe you're in Wales. Uh, Malika Begal. Hi, Malika, my love. And Andrew Nuttall. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And all of you that I can and cannot see that are hidden, I greet you. And if you're watching this later in the replay, thank you so much. Please share with your friends. And big love to Gentiana for joining. Yes, love big you, love. Love you, love you. Love you, love you, Gentiana. Nice to be here. And Pat, are you ready? So breathe in and breathe out. Open your heart. Really open your heart. Open your heart to the divine. And then just sing from your soul through your heart so that our soul touches the universe, the gods, the Buddha, the animals the plants, the stars, the galactic vibration. make you feel mm. because you send healing to the world and to others so now I'd like us to sing in our, our soul song but send and send healing to ourselves the last of you send healing to yourself mm. yeah so I want you to say I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together bring love light and joy okay so more of you are coming in thank you and Kivari was saying, what were we saying? I love you, I love you. That was so beautiful. Shall we, should, should we take over there and start with that? Please. Mm -hmm. So we're loving ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I love you, I love you. Okay? Should I sing I love you? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. My I love you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love me, I love me, I love me, I love me. I love you, I love you, I love you.
tranquility, joy, communion, heart, fellowship, and connection. Jitu says, thank you for your service. Hello, Master Jitu Kagran, thank you. Thank you for being here. Karina Tan, thank you. Mark uh, Pariklis, that's one of ours. Hello, Mark. Thank you for being here. Pat Jewel, thank you. So, um, I'd like us to now think of all of the animals, all of the animals, your dogs, your cats, your donkeys, your peacocks, the tortoise, the rabbits. I want you to call in unconditional love and just send a pink cloud of love to all the animals as appropriate because it's important okay so breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out <sighs> i love your heart and soul so i'm loving the heart and soul of all the animals i love your heart and soul I love all animals, join hearts and souls together, let's love the animals, let's love the animals, you love you Antoinette, hello all of you that are here. If there's anything you'd like to share, feel free. How does this feel? You'd like seeing three of us. Yeah. My son, Kai, my prince, Kivari, and of course my, my grandson, Charlie, who is on a drip at the moment. Yeah. So Charlie was the one who said that we should send he into all the animals of the world. He said that, uh, and, and Kai picked up that the animals were crying. You know, because they, they can feel what's happening. They're worried about themselves, but they're also worried about humanity. So let's call in kindness in our hearts. So what one kind thing could you do for you, for yourself? And what one kind thing could you do for someone else? What one kind thing? Perhaps you could send a blessing to someone. Send a good thought. Perhaps there's someone that you don't like that's really annoying you. How about forgiving them? How about doing something different? about being kind in this time as we go into more isolation where we can't touch we have to be careful we have to look after ourselves so how are you looking after yourself how are you looking after yourself are you taking vitamins are you eating healthy food I'm told that you are zinc is good vitamin C is good calcium is good for the bones so you want to make sure you're topping up on your vitamins and you're eating healthy food and you're looking after yourself and perhaps you're resting more and reflecting and doing things like this and connecting with other people and connecting to your soul, to your heart, to your sacred soul, your love, your life. Thank you for the service, Antoinette. My pleasure. Is there anyone here that wants us to do a certain prayer for you or anything? Or perhaps you would like to write that down or bring them into this sacred space as appropriate? Yes? Kivari, would you like to say anything just to share something? Um, I'm just very grateful to be in community with both of you like, together in physical form as well because it's really nice to be physically with people now. But of course, like being online as well is like a great way to be with people during this time. So I'm very grateful for you all, for your presence. I feel you all around us, amplifying the power of our prayers. So thank you. Yes, the group is more powerful when you gather together as a group. Yes? Kai, my son, do you want to say anything? Just for uh, Oh, Antoinette says, you provide to all. Ah, oh, that's nice. We, we bow down. 
We bow down in reverence. We bow down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes. I just want to thank Turks as always for being the light housekeeper in her lighthouse, shining her light out, allowing those of us who are lost to refind our way, bringing kindness always back into our hearts, showing such gratitude and compassion, reminding us about the power of forgiveness bringing so many of us into a place where we feel loved again and able to be loved and be loving. I offer you profoundest gratitude for continuing to so selflessly serve us and the world around you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to say goodbye. We just wanted to come and say hello to all of you and know that you are not alone. Mm. And all the animals there, Charlie, Charlie, can you hear? Yeah, Charlie's now happy. He was on a drip, he's, he's on a drip, he'll be, and he was agitated. And now I don't feel him agitated anymore. How do you feel? I yes. feel a release, thank yeah. you. And how do you feel about, can you feel Charlie? Um, no, not particularly, but okay. I feel in myself, yes. my heart is yes. completely open and wide, and I feel you both, a relief coming from both of yeah. us. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, and this is what is so important about having a gathering where we all speak our truth, mm. yeah? And Kivari, very lovely young man, very honest. No, I don't feel Charlie, but this is what I feel. Now that is one of the marks of a spiritual person. Someone evolving themselves, receiving messages of love and power. In life, we don't need to know the answers. We just need to speak our truth. And through speaking our truth is our knowing. And I think today, this is the message for today. Mm -hmm. Through each of you speaking your truth. Because you see, this, um, this virus affects the throat. You have a sore throat. You're not speaking. That's a throat chakra. So we want to call healing into the throat chakra. It affects our lungs. We can't breathe. And earlier on we talked about the nature and the element of air and breathing. So, and then the kidney. Kidney is fear. Kidneys fear, mm. we're, we're gripped by fear. And it's so important to understand our various emotions where we're saying yes to our life and where we're saying no. And where do you want to say yes? And where do you want to say no? And how are you creating your boundaries? So here I'm touching, my, I'm touching the back of my kidneys and I'm saying hello to my kidneys. Because the kidney holds fear. You get stuck. You feel you can't move forward. So let's give our kidney love. And the color for the kidney is blue. So kidneys, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love your kidney. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just send blue light to your kidney. I love you, kidney. I love you. Only good comes to you, kidney. Only good comes out of you. Kidney, you know how to heal yourself. Do a good job. You know. Dear lungs, you know how to heal yourself. Do a good job. Dear throat, you know how to heal yourself. Do a good job. Dear chakras, you know how to heal yourself. Do a good job. And this is so important. Let's call forth all your chakras. So you call forth, take responsibility for yourself. Call forth all your chakras. Really feel that energy of the chakras. Really feel the energy of the chakras. thanks to life. I give thanks to Mother Earth. I give thanks to you. I give thanks to life. I give thanks to healing. I give thanks for the miracle of life. I give thanks for the miracle of life. I give thanks for the miracle of protection. I give thanks to the miracle of nature. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. Thank you for being here. Thank you.
Thank you, animals. Thank you, heavens, animals. Thank you, angels. Thank you, all the divine beings that came in this energy. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Thank you for, for coming. We, we send you back. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And breathe in. And breathe out. Oh. And breathe in. And breathe out. Oh. And breathe in. And breathe out. Oh. Amen. 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 Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.